try this again. y'all I tried this while ago and my I'm probably just gonna have to break down and get me another one of these cheap cameras they're like a hundred bucks at Walmart I bought that one not too long ago and I've dropped it twice now and uh, my old one like that I dropped all the time but it finally got to the point I couldn't repair it anymore this one is close to that point now, but I'm going to use it as long as I can before I get another one. Um, now, to Mom. I love you, Mom. Your oldest daughter said that you have an appointment with, uh, with uh, Pioneer Hearing Aid and Maybe you can get a hearing aid through Social Security. If not, this is ugly as all get out. But let me tell you something. It works exactly the same as the more expensive hearing aids I've had. And I've got one of these brand new in the box that I'm willing to ship to you along with a supply of batteries. Uh, if you end up needing a hearing aid or two um, but I use this one because it filters out all the background noise and when you're uh, doing a, a hearing aids I use the phone on my left ear because it hears pretty good my right one's got real problems so I use that hearing aid at night when Linda and I are sitting in watching things in the parlor or when I'm at church so I can hear what my pastor is saying. Now I'm going to get on to something a little more serious and yeah it's a new hat, new hat then. See if you guys can see that. This young man's name is Cameron K-A-M-E-R-O-N Lewis L-O-U-I-S Jenkins J-E-N-K-I-N-S Earlier today he was stopped uh, there was a Cleveland County deputy attempting to make a traffic stop on him he jumped out and opened fired and shot a passing motorist and killed them I don't know if it was a male or a female and wounded the deputy uh, I don't know if the deputy deputy wounded him or not this was at mile the mile 60 mile marker up by Winniewood it's on a place called Roop Road Rupp Road R-U-P-P-E we pronounce it Roop just north of the Davis I-35 turnout at exit 55 he was headed south when a, in a pursuit when he pulled over and opened fire on the deputy, the deputy was wounded. He's in a hospital. Uh, we live right off of Interstate 35, but I always carry one of these. I never not have one of those on me. That's my old service revolver I carried for a long time. And yes, I've been in gunfights with it. Mr. Jenkins would make a really bad mistake trying to pull something here at the farm because all of us are, uh, let's put it this way, 
we will protect ourselves. I'll protect my dog Precious because I don't want her getting shot by some miscreant. I'll protect my wife, I'll protect my grandkids, my son, and anybody else here. Um, this guy has several arrests and convictions and there was a warrant out for his arrest. And I think that's why he was headed south or actually might not have been. I believe he lives in in either Cleveland County or Oklahoma County. He's got uh, traffic in both counties. He's uh, well known up there. I think he's watched too many. Oh, there it is. keep getting these alerts. Severe thunderstorm near your location. Alert in effect until 10 p.m. Till when? 10 p.m. Yeah. Um, I'll get done with this in time. I'll get in the van and go get them. Okay. Um, I appreciate that. Anyway, the bottom line on this Jenkins guy, if you folks see him, don't try to do anything like apprehend him or hold him at gunpoint. If you're not a police officer, have not been a police officer, do not know how it works, and if you've never been in that situation, you don't need to go ahead and place yourself in that situation. Uh, I'm on a leave of absence, but I actually, uh, I'll probably have my wife go inside the house and get my credentials out of my gun drawer. I don't have them with me, but that way if I do end up seeing the kid and I put him under arrest, and <laughs> I do have the authority to arrest somebody. Uh, then I have a way of justifying it. It uh, and there is no such thing anymore, folks, as citizens arrest. That was done away with by Barack Hussein Obama. You need to understand that. You can't place someone under citizens arrest. Oh, hello. No, you can't. They've turned it in the United States into a police state. I don't agree with their decisions, uh, but. It is what it is. Um, I've uh, I've not got a whole lot to say today, really. I've been out with my wife. I'm going to continue to be out with my wife. If I'm lucky, she'll go to church with me tonight. And if I'm not lucky, she'll stay home. But she's not doing real well. And uh, that old van of mine, Kills. it uh, jerks quite badly while you're driving. I squished a bug on my desk. I've got to clean my hands. Ew. Yeah, ew. Yeah, we had a great meal at Carl's Jr. and then we went and got donuts and then we went and we put gas in my van and then we came home and then I got on here spider or cockroach? Cockroach. Yeah, they came in when the... Yeah, uh, they're coming in because it's starting to cool, it's going to cool off shortly and they want some place to live. Oh. Aren't I lucky? They picked my office. Oh, honey, they're coming in the house, too. Anyway, um, Mom, I hope you're doing well. I hope the cataract surgery goes well. To my sister, my beautiful sister, and her husband, J.D., and my younger beautiful sister, 
and all my siblings, I love you. Anybody watching this know that I love you. I'm a crazy old cripple guy, but I do love you with my whole heart. And I want you to thank God for your blessings because you are blessed. And I want you to always be kind, like that sign right there says. Always and ever be kind. Love you, God bless you, and bye.